On Sunday at 4.06 p.m., I received a call that James Gingrich had taken his own life. I had known Jim for about 15 years, and we took an immediate liking to one another. He was brash. I was brash. He was a bottom line guy. I was a bottom line guy. He liked to argue. I love to argue. Jim didn't finish college, but he was one of the brightest men I've ever known. He was well versed on a variety of subjects and was extremely passionate about things he had interest in. He loved his friends and family. He loved Idaho and he really loved America. Jim and I were the type of friends who could speak every day nonstop, which had been occurring for about the last year or once a month. And it was like nothing ever changed. We always went right back into two dipshits being dipshits to one another. It's not like I'm saying I bet him to put on a shock collar for dogs and lit it up. And I'm not saying he dared me to eat a blue crayon at a restaurant for 20 bucks, but you know what I mean. Jim had his demons as we all do, but his ended up winning in the end. On September 20th, 2020, I got a call that Jim was not doing well and was missing. Everyone was expecting the worst. They were right. Jim had tried to hang himself to end his life. I put tried in quotations because he didn't really try and it was a call for help. I was called because he knew I would kick him in the ass and set him straight. It worked, or I thought it had worked. Over the last couple of years, Jim and I had become closer and closer. We would rage on the Rona, tons of political stuff, and how much we both loved, seriously, the premise of this show decades. Remember, he liked to argue, so this was like his Super Bowl, but it was weekly instead of once a year. I spoke to Jim on Friday after our last show. He kept saying, that is how the show should be. People talking, arguing, getting heated, but coming together in the end. He was beyond excited for the future of the show, and he thought it was a turning point, point towards greatness. It very well could be, but Jim will never know, and that pisses me off. Jim pisses me off. He pisses me off a lot. I'm extremely upset with him right now, and I'm sure I will be for quite some time. He let me down, he let his other friends down, and he let his family down. The way I'm getting through this is by thinking that Jim simply had one bad wire that went astray. Just like how one bad wire can spark a fire and burn down a home, this one bad wire sparked in his mind and burnt Jim's life to an end. The loss of Jim Gingrich is a tragedy, but we must learn from this tragedy and use it to help others, whether they we think they need it or not. Reach out to someone. Keep reaching out. Never stop reaching out. Do your part and do it well. Never stop doing your part. That is all we can do now, and that is all we can continue to do in the future, to slow down the suicide rate of middle-aged men. Yes, this is Jim's fault, but it is also not his fault.